All right, so in this problem, we have a table and we want to see which of the following choices represents the same relationship that is demonstrated in our table that is given. So let's take a look at our, at our table and see if we can find some kind of pattern. Now, if we take a look at the transitions between x and y, it seems like if we're starting at 0, we're subtracting 1, and then we are adding 0, and we are adding 1, and then we are adding 2, and then we are adding 3, and then adding 4. So it seems like with every jump, every transition, we are adding, the number that we are adding grows by 1. And so this will be our pattern for the table. And now let's take a look at our options. A states y is equivalent to twice the value of x. So let's rewrite that over here. So y is equivalent to twice the value of x just means 2x and a constant. So we're adding a constant where the c equals negative 1. So we are adding the negative 1 to the 2x. So this is our equation. And now let's see if this matches our table by plugging in all of the numbers into our plugging in all the numbers from our table into our equation. So let's start with our first point, 0 and negative 1. So instead of y, I'm going to be plugging in negative 1. And instead of x, I'll plug in 0. So now we have negative 1 equals negative 1. And that is correct. Let's move on to our second point. Instead of, one, instead of y, we're going to be plugging in a 1 equals 2 times x. And instead of x, also a 1 minus 1. So here we have 1 equals 2 minus 1 gives us a 1, and this is correct. Now, you can check all of the answers, but this um, graph is correct. The full way to make sure that it is completely correct is by plugging in all of the points. But you can do so on your own and see that all of the points will give you the correct answer. So A is our final answer, and let's take a look why B, C, and D are incorrect. Now, if we take a look at B, B. B has a curved line for its graph, and we seem to be having a linear equation, therefore b can be disqualified, but we can also check by choosing one of the points on the graph. Let's say we choose the point 1, 0, and we can plug it into our equation and see if it gives us the right answer. Now because we know that this is our right equation for the line of our graph, we can plug it into here. So we have instead of y, we'll plug in 0 equals 2 times 1 minus 1. So we have 0 equals 2 minus 1, which gives us 1. And 0 and 1 do not equal one another. Therefore, b is incorrect. Now let's see um, our option for c. So c states that x equals y minus 1, all of it divided by 2. All right, so same thing. We're going to pick a point on the in, from our table. Let's pick our first point and see if it um, seems to be a correct statement with the statement given to us in C. So if we plug in the values for x, 0 equals 1, negative 1, minus 1, divided by 2. So if we simplify this, we have 0 equals negative 1 minus 1 gives us a negative 2, divided by 2. And because 0 does not equal negative 1, C is eliminated. Now D. If we take a look at the pattern between the x and the y, it does not complete the pattern that we have given. If, if our given graph starts from 0 and we subtracted 1, we would expect that if, whoop, all right, we expect that if we are, um, if we continue this pattern, we would be subtracting minus 2 here, and then minus 3, and minus 4, and then minus 5, and minus 6. And as you can tell, this pattern does not continue for this graph. Therefore, D is also eliminated, and A will be our final answer.